You know, I used to not really like this game. And for good reasons. Mostly that I strongly dislike any game that strongly dislikes me. And it felt like in the past this game used to have a vendetta against me and anyone who was trying to have fun while playing it. Straight up, if you didn't treat this game like a full-time job, you were destined to fail, like a lot of other people who decided to give this game a chance. But then, walks in, patch 0.14. And with it, a whole bundle of changes. Now, I'm not talking about adding in a new battle pass with some pretty skins and a few minor quality of life features. I mean actual, real changes. So in this video, we're going over everything this patch has to offer. I'm going to start off by getting into the real meat and taters here. And we're just going to go down the list from most impactful to least. I'm not going to cover the new entry map, uh, Ground Zero, in this because I did that in my previous vi video. But I will say that previously everyone was going to be allowed access into Ground Zero from level 1 to 15. But now, due to how positively it's been received, BSG has decided to make a separate bracket for everyone over level 15 all the way up until max level. All right, now let's get into the path. First, we have the recoil changes. Now back in the past, Tarkov used to use a mixture of randomness and set recoil patterns with what felt like a healthy amount of bloom. And this added into the fact that your PMC or your playable character was apparently made from paper and can control recoil worse than a five-year-old. It just made shooting in Tarkov feel like complete rubbish, which sucks because if you didn't know, shooting is a big part of Escape from Tarkov. So much so that even when you did kill someone previously, half the time you didn't even know if it was you controlling the recoil or just a lucky stray bullet flying into their earlobe killed them. Which is unrewarding and it just straight up didn't feel good. But now, with the recent changes, you can actually control and feel in control of how your gunfights play out. Your PMC actually now feels like someone who has held a gun before and more importantly, knows how to shoot a gun. This is so much bigger than it seems at a surface level. Not only does this allow newer players an easier introduction into the game and the ability to be able to become competent faster, but it allows every person, regardless of skill level, the opportunity to look back on their deaths and see where and what they could do better or did wrong. Other than, yeah, they had the meta gun, I didn't. They're allowed to spray, I can't. My bullets are flying off three feet for no reason. This also opens the door to so many different guns that were basically useless past the first week, a breath of fresh air and a little bit of viability. Overall, a much needed and great change to the game. Now let's move on to the next update. The next update is one that I feel is going to play out the longevity of a wipe tenfold, and that is all of the trader changes. Now, you do not have access to good ammo until much later on in the game. And this is a good thing. No, this is a great thing. Because now the disparity between a great and a new player has gotten so much smaller. Which is good. Not all the time, but in Tarkov there was such a disparity that this is a good thing. Before, there was absolutely no way for a new player to beat a player of a higher level due to the fact that they couldn't even penetrate their armor. And I mean, they could literally outplay the person, they could shoot first, they could control the almost uncontrollable recoil, and they could hit every shot. But if they didn't hit them square in the face, they would get two tapped to the chest once the person turned around. And that doesn't sound like fun, does it? No, it wasn't. But now the playing field is much more even, and that is strictly a good thing. And all this ties me into the next addition into the game, armor changes and how the introduction of armor plates work. Now, currently, I believe they're going to change the entire dynamic of gunfights. So prior, armor used to be a set thing. For example, level five armor would prevent X amount of shots. The armor would then protect all areas evenly, and it would even extend to areas that were literally not being protected by the armor, such as your armpits, your underarms, or even entire sides for things like the trooper vest. Now, however, that is no longer the case. Now you have specific armor plates that have a finite level of durability, and once someone gets through them, it's game over, baby. Everything's going through. And now, armor only covers the areas it is literally covering. So side and neck shots matter so much more on specific armors, such as said before, the trooper vests and other armors that are just front and the back. 
So now if a person with crappy ammo has good aim, well, you might be looking at your sash a little quicker than you thought there, juicy boy. Now, all of these major changes put together pale in comparison to the thing I'm most excited about. No, you heard it right. They added snow to Tarkov. Okay, but really, this is kind of cool. The implementation of snow was probably a hundred times better than I ever would have imagined BSG was going to do if they ever did this. Not only does it have little to no effect on FPS or performance from what I've seen, but it also adds in varying degrees of change in how maps and engagements play out. Just off the top of my head, here's some things that it affects. Footsteps in snow are incredibly loud and crunchy. People will hear you a lot further away. And snow will even accumulate on your character model if you do not move. This allows people to essentially become snow gillies. Visibility on open maps for spotting players traversing them is so much easier than it was before, so please keep that in mind. The best part is that BSG has full intentions of having different weather conditions and patterns being cycled into the games periodically in the future, which only adds to the immersion and uniqueness of every raid being different from the last, which is something I love about Tarkov. It's the longevity of this game has always been around that you can go into a, the same map a hundred times, but nothing is going to be the same in how it plays out. And you put all of these together and what do you get? Fun. You get a seriously good time. One that doesn't even feel like it's related to the Tarkov that I used to know. I can honestly, for the first time, recommend this game to my friends and to others. So that's what I'm doing now. Everyone who has made it this far, I appreciate you. Second, I want to say if you're on the fence about trying or maybe returning to Tarkov, I would honestly say give it a shot. It's fun now. It's worth a shot. And with that being said, I'll see all you guys in the next one.